Hello, and welcome to, or welcome back, to some more Paratech. Uh, so, we're in playing with Paratech. We have our, uh, our vehicle. We painted it yesterday, uh, starting to kind of get some, uh, some thing, or, uh, some design, trying to get away from my normal, you know, uh, stair step in the front, lots of guns. Uh, that, spoiler, we're, we're going to have stair step in the front, lots of guns for a while. Um, it's it's kind of how I build stuff. Um, but uh, we at least got our batteries full. Uh, we're going to go out, uh, do some missions. I guess I should check to see if there's some more missions here before I leave. I always forget to do that. Anything, anything good? Anything? Yeah, punks, yeah. Ooh, you're a winner. That doesn't sound like a trap at all. <laughs> uh, that job doesn't sound like a trap either. Oh, see you trapped and they hate me. All right. Uh, we got another SU, uh, which is always good to have spare SUs laying around. So we are going to continue kind of building building up. Uh, at some point, uh, we'll start getting some larger uh, tires. And uh, once we start getting our larger tires, uh, we'll be able to start using stuff a little bit more effectively. Uh, it'll be great. It'll be glorious. Uh, let's see. Go down here to this this guy. Uh, there it is. What? Oh, did I, have, I didn't pick up my damn. Oh. I just spent eight grand on a on an SU and then I left it there. I hope it's still on the ground. Those things are expensive. I forgot it when you buy stuff, it spits it out one side. Oh, okay, it's still there. That's good. It's only it's only eight grand. It's really the the trick with those is is it's more about not uh just not having them, having a spare one. Nothing worse than having one SU, having it blown up, and then just not having an SU anymore. Um, <laughs> you know, you never know when you're going to actually find another one. Thank you. Oh, okay. I'm just going to do that then. All right. That makes sense. Do a little shoot shoots. Come on. Oh, no. That's enough out of you, my friend. We only have one battery on the back now, or uh, one magnet on the back. All right. I'm sure this isn't a trap. Uh, and it's a trap. No. No, those things hurt. Evidently, I need bigger guns. Come on, get, there he is. Load, load that thing up. That'll be fine. No. Blow each other up. Woo. All right, back to... uh. Back to picking all that stuff up. So, like I said, getting getting that thing uh, makes your life so much easier. And then with a magnet, if you do have a couple items that are really uh, are just out of your range, you can kind of go do this and go go scoop them up with a magnet, and then uh, we'll just go drop them off, and it's great. It's like I planned it that way. Then we then we store that back up. Look at that. We're all cleaned up. Oh. Takes fix forevers. Ooh, a big magnet. Let's go ahead and put this guy down here. So that's the GeoCore magnet. Uh, it's a it's a lot larger. Um, it has four contact points, and it can carry a lot more too. 
which in and of itself is actually really nice and helpful, uh, except for the part that he thinks take forever to open. Uh, awful again. So I had to increase the amount of uh, solar panels that I had to possibly uh, not take six forevers. Hey, look, dude. I would appreciate it if you start trying to take the tires off. I need those. These things are expensive. Pick up all the stuff. All right, where am I supposed to be going anyway? I'm supposed to be going that way. All right, get all. Eventually, we'll get uh, items that basically make it a little bit easier to uh, charge. Uh, you can eventually get furnaces and stuff so that you can charge while you're driving. Uh, and I'll eventually end up probably building a, a tech that has that that pulls uh, like burnable stuff out of uh, the storage and then uh, cooks it, burns it for, for energy. Oh, that's uh, what, what? What is that? What's this? Oh, that's a landing skid. Ooh, a solar panel. And of course, you gotta be careful because sometimes the enemies are too close and uh, then uh, can't pick up your guess. Uh, and and not being able to pick up your SU is uh makes for sad days. Lots of pieces. Lots of pieces. All right. Find the lid. Delivery crate is next. We're going off over there someplace. We'll put that away. I'll be nice. And it's still, this is still a fairly small tech uh, compared to some of the, the ones that we will eventually be building. Uh, it's, we're pretty small, uh, but for our size, we do actually have a lot of power. Uh, and that is really uh we have a lot of points built into blowing things up and just continuing to, to build parts and sometimes like you'll see me spin like that uh items will get stuck on your on your craft and uh if you don't that's the easiest way to get them off is just to spin like that oh a battery anything what, what are you I heard a very loud ooga sound. I don't know why that ooga at me. Usually that's a noise that makes when like an enemy is trying to spawn on your head or something like that or, or it's dropping things. All right, we'll go take all these things, uh, dump them into the, this box here. Just so that we can, uh, we can store all this stuff away. Kind of, uh, eventually, eventually I'll get, uh, this stuff on the ship that, uh, as we move, we can, uh, process and we'll just fire everything off. Uh, once you can kind of do that, you start making a lot more money. Uh, not that for me, money in this game's never really been uh, a big problem. Like it's in the beginning, it's kind of difficult. Uh, but once you kind of get some some resources and you kind of pick some stuff up, it's it uh, it gets rather easy. 
or rather, uh, not as bad pretty quickly. Uh, and really, all I, I use money for mostly is buying SCUs. Every once in a while, like I'll buy a, a new a new weapon or a new tire or something kind of spawns in or starts uh, coming in and I'm trying to get a set or something, I'll buy some. Uh, but for the most part, just just running the game, uh, you'll eventually get most of the parts that you need. You want a piece of me? You, oh, you do? All right. That's a that's a, a a scrapper. That's a that's a ship. Go ahead. We'll go drive over through this stuff here. Check some things with our with our magnets since uh some of these kind of got got scattered a little bit. Just a little bit of scattering. It's all, it's all good. Pick that stuff up. Drive to, to the next area and find out who over here. Look, another delivery crate. Let me guess. Yep. It's a yellow too, so that means that they're... Uh, they're the big boys. Nope, I don't like that. Okay, hey, look there. There you go. Alrighty then. Uh, once we get the uh, the GeoCore SU, uh, it's got an even better uh, range on it. It's it's a lot a lot larger range to pick things up. Makes it a lot easier to, to start gathering things. Need to probably do some changes uh, and put that larger magnet on here. That would probably be helpful. Come on. Get it close enough that it picks it up. That's all I need to do. And then we can just grab this. Uh, that is the anchor furnace. All right, that's some good stuff there. Some of the GeoCorp stuff, uh, it looks good on on paper, and like when you you know like that that harvester thresher looking thing uh, on paper, and you know when you first see it, you're like, oh, that thing looks amazing. Uh, in practice, they're a pain in the butt. Trying to to get them to where you can clear the clear the ground and uh, not destroy them, because that's really what ends up happening with that is uh, is you end up destroying it on uh, more often than not. All right, you know what? Let's do this. Put you in right there. Get us some blocks. Oh, I want I want blocks. Okay, so we have those now. Mm 
build us up a little bit of a protective area for this thing. So hopefully we don't get destroyed. That, see if we can find some wills. And let's go with that one and that one. I think we already have, I think these are the ones I'm putting on already. I think those are a little bit longer than I, a little bit higher than the ones we have. So I think this is what we have. So we'll do that. See if we get us some pew pews. And we aren't painted anymore, but that'll be all right. We'll be all right. That is not what I wanted to do. All right, so now we can cheese a little bit, and now we can just pull up, and then we'll just be able to hit the the button, and we'll just turn it on that way. So we'll just give it a little test out here. Great little tester guy. So we'll be able to test that guy out like that, and then we can go. Now, the only problem with it is uh, stuff will get kind of on, on the side of the thing sometimes. Uh, so uh, you, you kind of almost want that thing. I can try it a slightly different way, maybe. All right, let's try. Try this. This is this is a little bit more dangerous. Uh, Um, actually, you know what? Uh, that's fine. Let's do. Do we have? I don't have larger one yet. Okay. Right. So we got those. No, let's go here. Uh, do we have, oh, I'm out of those batteries. Uh, that's going to slow me down. Just stack as many batteries as I can in there. And then this would be great, except for it doesn't want to actually latch onto anything. Not helpful. Do we have any other weapons? Uh, not that I kind of want to stick up there right now. Let me put a catapult up there. That'd be cool. All right, let's try this again. So, now, not every location you have as an anchor has to be able to be anchored. Um, so, obviously, that thing can't anchor being mounted on its side like that. Uh, but, uh, they, you have to anchor something on the ship. As long as you can anchor something, oh, uh, my batteries are full. See if we get, uh, we're going to get a little bit of sun. See if we can kind of get some of this thing charged back up. Uh, eventually we'll start getting other anchor, or other repair bubbles and other shields, uh, and that are larger. See if we can get a little bit of charge into our shield, or into our, uh, batteries before the, we lose the sun. But like I said, I, I really do enjoy this game. Uh, the, the Being able to do different things and being able to 
to change kind of how it's done and uh, kind of, you know, making stuff that you want to make with it uh, to me is, is awesome. It's really what the game is about. Uh, the only real problem I have with the game is especially once you start making larger text, uh, they don't, they don't do well on the ground. Um, the suspension that you have is only in the tire. Uh, I don't think anybody's made another active suspension yet, uh, that you can kind of give the, the more, more suspension. And it's one of the same problems I have with space engines, right? If you start making large, uh, ground vehicles, uh, you just can't, you can't tra tra traverse the, the land anymore. Your tires, you just don't have the flex like you would with a, a, uh, a real vehicle, right? A real off-road vehicle, you actually have a good amount of suspension travel. You can kind of dial that into what you need to do, uh, and you can kind of get away with a lot more than you can uh, with this with this game, um, or with games in general. It, it, it's hard to to get the amount of suspension travel for a custom, you know, uh, entry of a of trying to do something that I want to personally do. Um, and make that work with the rest of the game. It makes it incredibly difficult to do it. Uh, so I, it, it is what it is. Um, and as much as it frustrates me, and I, and I wish I could, I could do, you know, be able to do these big, massive things and keep them on the ground and, and get get it to flex and twist and stuff. It just, it just doesn't. Uh, so what I may try to do uh, this time is go more to the hovercraft uh, type of, of thing. Uh, maybe even so much so, or do like a hybrid, uh, put a bunch of hover pads under it uh, to try to to reduce some of the weight of the, the vessel uh, and then keep it tired or, or treaded uh, so that, and try to be able to get uh, down the road. Uh, and that's really what, probably the ultimate goal will be is to make some big crazy thing uh the same thing like if i can make a trailer if i can have a trailer uh and i think there was a trailer uh, attachment i don't know if it worked very well uh but maybe maybe i'll try that again see if i can get it see if i can get it to work uh because if i get a trailer um then you know i could i could get stuff to do work that way also Um, because that's that's it's trying to build something large or you know because you need it to twist and turn uh, so that it's not it's not rigid because what happens is if you have something that's really long or really wide or really long and wide uh, and you start trying to hit uh, obstacles where you're turning or you're uh, trying to trying to get the uh, trying to get something to articulate which doesn't have the ability to articulate uh it, it makes it very difficult to to do that uh so we'll uh we'll cross that bridge when we get to it uh, i promise you you let me play this game long enough i will get to it i will get to a point where uh i just start breaking things um so right now we're gonna go head off try to find the almighty cube uh see if we can actually beat him real quick uh i don't know if i have enough weapons on me to beat it, uh, but I have enough weapons in my storage to beat it. But if I need to, I'll just I'll pull out the the four uh, Gatlin uh, cannons. We'll throw those on here, and that that'll be enough to to rip it to shreds. Because uh, those those things are freaking mean. Uh, only reason I kind of haven't loaded them yet is because they're uh, they're pretty pricey. Uh, and if I destroyed them, I wouldn't be able to replace them. Um, actually, I don't even have Hawkeye yet, uh, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to even get them. Uh, since I don't have Hawkeye, so Hawkeye isn't even open. Uh, but with the new tires, uh, even with it being slightly longer than it was, it's still, it's still traveling fairly well. Uh, and that's kind of the trick is, is to make sure that your suspension can handle the, the, the length and the weight of your vehicle. Uh, so as long as you can handle the length and the weight of your vehicle, uh, then you're kind of okay. 
uh, like I said, the issue is, is once you start getting too wide, um, too long, you know, half your tires are all, no longer connected to the uh, the ground, and then they just sit there and spin. Uh, and then there's there's a no going, and uh, when uh, when you don't have any traction, uh, <laughs> then you don't go forward. Uh, and that's just kind of how physics works. So uh, we can kind of alleviate some of that too with uh, like rocket engines or uh, something to kind of burst to, to get us a, a bit of power to get us moving forward. And sometimes that'll be enough of a kick to kind of kind of move us forward a little bit. Uh, but that's all. All problems for another day. Thanks, buddy. How you doing? So, and then for the people that are enjoying the uh, the playthrough so far, uh, I do I do appreciate it. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying my best to see if I can get this thing to actually connect someplace. There it goes. Uh, I'm just just trying this YouTube thing. Uh, I've been on Twitch for a while, and we were doing that, and a bunch of life happened, and you know, so we I decided to make the move over to YouTube. Uh, my my life and, and the time frame I have right now works a little bit better making the YouTube videos. Uh, than trying to, to live stream. Uh, it's so much so that even uh, for, for now, uh, I'm having some internet issues and stuff. Uh, so it makes it a lot easier to uh, to not have the uh, my network drop on me when, uh, when I'm streaming. Um, so for now, we're just going to kind of do these, uh, do the uh, do the videos. Uh, if y'all do have another, like, I, I'm having fun right now. I'm, the g three games I'm kind of playing and putting videos out for are Terratech, uh, Starcom, Unknown Space, uh, and Factorio. Uh, if you have another game that's kind of a mixture of those that you would like to see, uh, throw it down in a comment. Uh, talk to me. Come hang out on the Discord channel. Uh, come, you know, all the Discord stuff's down in the, in the, the description. Uh, you're more than welcome to come hang out in the Discord. Uh, it's not the most active Discord in the world, but uh, I do my best to try to at least answer questions and have conversations with people. Uh, so if you want to have a chat, that's a great place to do it. And then uh, if you do want to see something specific uh, as, you know, a, a different build or something like that, like I, I'm up for it. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to try. Obviously, uh, the goal with this game is to get to... Uh, better future and then uh get the lasers uh because once i can get the lasers a better future oh it's it's oh it's a better future lasers are they're they're actually kind of cheaty at least i think so all right looks like you're a very treasure all right anything good in here anything anything uh not really let's see let's try Blocks. Another thing I haven't done too is I haven't built a lot of, of uh, other guys. Which ones? That's the angle plasma cutters. I kind of like those and four of them. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy those. Are those is that a gimbal? That's a gimbal one. I'm gonna buy the gimbal one too. I'm gonna spend all my money. Uh. Mm -hmm. Power blocks, no, no good batteries. Uh, got another SU, but uh, we'll, we'll we will wait on the SU for now. I have two two of the uh, the GSO SUs. Those uh, the angled uh, plasma cutters are just good fun for the fun of your vehicle especially if you have something that's slightly larger uh because it just keep this poke down and just burn burn holes through anything that, that gets even remotely in your way they're glorious like that but yeah having the su here um and heck even i think it's the better future one uh it's it's even better because it's easier to to kind of uh put in and and arrange to make it easier to do it. The, the Geocore one is kind of cool, but it's a weird shape. Uh, 
it's uh it's just it's it's funny shaped the way it, the 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 connection points and stuff on it are and i always have trouble trying to get it to uh align to a a a, a vessel to the vessel Hell, I didn't see that one coming. So that's the non angled plasma cutter. Oh, that's not good. So that one just sticks straight out. Uh, the angled one's even better because then, then it points downwards. What are you doing? The gimbaled ones are even are nice too because they'll they'll kind of on one side and kind of uh, they'll actually start aiming at things. If you can get enough gimbaled uh, ones on the front, you can get it to do some crazy stuff because it will uh, they'll start tracking things. So when those little guys are running in front of you, I like putting the gimbaled ones on like the side, uh, so that way if something gets close to the side or the back, it just turns on it, and just cuts it. Pieces. I try my best not to let things get behind me, but and they do it every once in a while. Okay, would you die already? I don't know why you make me want to blow everything up. Uh, the other thing too with the uh, the better future lasers, uh, they they pinpoint the control box a lot better. Uh, so it doesn't. You're not because right now I'm firing and I'm just destroying all these blocks. Uh, and the, uh, the better future does a lot better job of, of hitting what, what I'm trying to hit as opposed to, uh, just melting every single item that, that we can find. Cause you lose a lot of parts, uh, blowing things up. All right. Let's try this again. Eventually we're going to go over here to the almighty cube. All right. Look, dude. Stop it. Stop it. All right. That's a little stuff. It's just tires. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I'm moving on. I'm trying to... I can't place this to be. It's taking me like eight minutes to get over here. We're still still just traveling. We'll eventually make it. Maybe. <laughs> Which mother is it? Uh, I think... We're in another... Oh, that's crafty business. Oh, the Almighty Cube. I see. Where's the Almighty Cube? And so it's just a, a thousand, a thousand meters out. Well, uh, we'll just keep going. I'll eventually make it. Uh, this is the Red Sands area. Uh, you can get stuff in here. Uh, they're geothermal, and there's all kinds of different power. So you can actually build a base on a geothermal area. And that's something I haven't really done in the past. Is I haven't built a a good base. Uh, where we have, you know, all of our resources and we can kind of build whatever we want to. Uh, I don't, you know, as much as I like building factories, uh, I don't build a lot of factories in this game. Oh, good. You had like three control boxes. That's helpful. All right, let's do that. Let's turn around. Let's go ahead and anchor up. I think I'm going to need some more battery power. Yep, I'm over half empty. So you see that the solar panels just take forever to open. Eventually, uh, you start getting, I think it's Hawkeye that have the ones that come out of the sides. Uh, they're, they're like a box. And it's just, it extends out of the, uh, it's a one by two box. And then the, uh, you can do the, uh, the GeoCore ones, <laughs> but they're a two by two, uh, but I think they open to like a four by four uh, th that they have to kind of have open on top. They do put out a lot more electricity. Excuse me. All right. Oh, so much power. They're spin the tires. I guess I can paint this thing while we're while we're sitting here waiting. Uh, no, I want to paint flash fill. 
Go <laughs> to here for this guy. Watch really good. All right, so that way we're all painted up. And you can get a little a little thing on here that will just give you a an indicator on your screen uh, of how full your batteries are and everything. So that way you don't have to sit there and try to to peek at the uh, the actual battery indicators. All this thing is is a it's just a, it's just a big battery. Yeah, there's uh, geothermal vents there. And there's a geothermal, uh, like, furnaces. You just stick over those, and then they, uh, then it uh, produces power for you. Uh, it doesn't work really good for vehicles, but it is okay for bases. Get away from my cube. Wonder if I should cheese it a little bit. Do this. Can I put you under here? I can get one under there. Clicked off the screen. Get everything spun up. Oh, we're up to our shields. Oh, he's still there. Okay, he's not there anymore. <laughs> Don't want to leave that Hawkeye under the under my uh, nose because it will uh, I'll end up ripping it off. Yay! Ooh, big tires. Fortunately, most of that stuff is oh Jesus, and that's why you watch where you you get hit. It's a things will not wrap out of you. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's GeoCorp repair bubble. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> wow. What's that one? The Geoport mass modifier? What does that do? That's new. Lightweight corner. Uh, but you can see how much larger the Geocorp bubble is. It covers almost the entire ship. Uh, it's just, just the one bubble. Uh, they use a lot more power. Um, but they are they are definitely uh, definitely nice to have laying around. I don't know what that mass modifier thing does. I mean, I'm a, I'm a manufacturing block. Fixed anchor, rotating anchor, accessory block, mass modifier. Psi for info. Modified mass of a block can be make it very light or easy to move with or very heavy or harder to move with. Okay.
So that may be good to have, especially when, if we get a, a really heavy uh, piece of equipment um, or once our, our tech starts getting really heavy uh, to be able to use that to lighten it up. Uh, so, but we do have our repair bubble now. Uh, we'll probably get our get a, uh, a, a Geocorp shield sometime, probably soon. If we can get the thing to latch back, there it goes. Uh, but with that, uh, we're going to go ahead and let it go. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying TerraTech as much as I am. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please throw them down in the uh, comment section. I'll do my best to try to answer those you know, as I can. And then uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, the normal stuff you do here on YouTube. I do appreciate it, and we'll catch you all next time.